So we took a look at some of the teams that went that top cut at Knoxville Regionals over this past weekend. And we see Toller Web obviously taking it with this Golden Go team. The Nasty Plot Golden Go that we've been seeing a lot of. I know we saw it in, uh, I think it was Charlotte, maybe Portland, where we saw it paired with the, the, the Reggie Drago, right? And just annihilating things. But we see a lot of, you know, a lot of the repeat Pokemon. I think, I think Regulation has kind of started to settle down where we are starting to kind of converge on like what the best Pokemon are. Right, we see a lot of Ogre Pond and Wellsprings. We see a lot of Flutter Mains here. And we see, you know, one, two, three, four, five Urshifus, one, two, three, four Landorus Eyes, four Raging Bolts. Like, I think we, I think, I think we can all agree those are some of the best Pokemon, man. I, I'm glad to see the, the Gouging Gambit here. Uh, I know we just did a video about that this past week. And to see it top cut, like, almost completely take the regionals, like, it just makes sense, right? It's a really strong. A really strong team. I like this uh, this Chiyu Fluttermane Glamora team. This is really, really like hard to beat, and I like to see it do this well. But you know what was actually really interesting? And like we we just gotta talk about this man because like this sand team from Len, dude, look at this thing. Like this just barely bubbled out of top eight, and this could have taken this whole regional. Could you imagine if this actually didn't bubble out against this top cut? Like. Corviknight absolutely walls the Landorus Eye. One, two, three, four Landorus that it could just sit there and just body press and tailwind and <laughs> it just assert its dominance over, dude. All the Incinerars it could have mirror armored back, like the the Bray Bird that it could just hit the 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 Ogre Pond Wellspring with. Like Corviknight was such a good pick into this into this into this regionals, and I just I I couldn't help but ignore it, man. I love Sand Teams. Like, I love sand. So, like, it just, it helps you pick up that those little, those, like, barely missing two-hit KOs. Like, it just gets you there because the sand damage just chips it away at it. And it's so much fun. I, I, let, let, let's open this up. I, I love seeing, like, the, the close combat, the rock slide, right? The, the Endeavor. Dude, the Endeavor gets you there against, against, uh, 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 uh against, um, Dondozo. It just brings it down on one HP and the sand picks it up. It's fantastic. And the the Corviknight, again, just walls Landorus Eye, the Iron Bundle, just, it gets you there, man. This team is so cool. And I just, I knew I had to try it. So we did it. We built it. I'm going to show you some battles that we did with it. I'm excited. You're excited. Let's get this going, man. So. We got Corviknight, Titar, Iron Bundle, Lycanroc, Garchomp, and Golden Go. This is exactly Len's team from Knoxville last week. I saw it on stream. I'm sure you saw it on stream. I was ecstatic that a Sand team with Assault Vest Titar was getting results. It was, uh, it got ninth. It just bubbled out. I really wanted to see this in top eight, but I know you did. I know I did. So I wanted to feature it here on the channel. But when I got the mons, I got Corviknight, Titar, Iron Bundle, Lycanroc, Garchomp, Golden Go. You'll notice a lot of the defensive Terras on here. So we got Corviknight with Terra Fire, Tyranitar with Terra Grass. Tyranitar with Terra Grass does help with the Terra Blast onto things like Primarina, onto other water types that you might want to hit with a grass type move. And it also helps defensively. The Endeavor on the Lycanroc takes a lot of big brain plays to get there. So we're going to try our best. But you'll see you'll see this team just... It just picks up a lot of things that you'd be surprised by. Corviknight absolutely walls Landorus Eye. Uh, freeze Dry from the Iron Bundle absolutely destroys Ogre Pond Wellspring. There's a bunch of cool meta calls that come from playing this team. So... Let's give it a shot. Let's play a couple games and see how well we do. You'll see the team ID there, 2D22MPG, if you want to try it out. So anyway, let's get some battles going. Uh, we got a Dozo team. That'll, that'll be hard for us too. Um, leading, leading, well, if I can get Endeavor off, that would be awesome. How do I prevent him from doubling into the Lycanroc? That's the question. I could, I could lead San. And then... Bring bundle is actually not bad also. That covers for a weakness. Maybe the golden go. Garchomp. Corviknight. Corviknight's not terrible. 
let's try it like this i um so i'm running this team because it did really well at a regional recently and i i saw it on stream and i was like i gotta try that man i gotta try it i gotta play and make a video like <laughs> that's actually a really funny uh, card i like that one just the guard time of sleep like that but so i wanted to try it man this is a the guy who played it is a really really smart player so i wanted to see how how the average player could come in and try to do something so we just let dozo he was like he can't answer dozo he's fine my best answer here my best answer is to hit an endeavor so i he's probably gonna terra into something that i can't hit i i can knock off and just hit a rock slide what i want to do is get down to one hp and then hit him with an endeavor I could also switch into Corviknight here. Mm, do I need to? No. Let me knock off and uh, just rock slide this turn. I really got a cover for whatever he decides he wants to do. Oh, uh, okay. Do I get the flinch? Safety goggles. Okay, great. That's actually great. And I do get the flinch. That's awesome. So far, so good. Knocking off the goggles means he takes sand damage, and that's exactly what I want. So what I need here is to keep doing keep doing that. I could hit him with a Terra Blast grass type move, but I'm worried he's gonna tear right out of it. So I'm just gonna double rock slide this turn. See if I can get a bunch of flinches off. Looks like he's not very fast. He's not a very fast dozo. Oh, and I do miss the first one, unfortunately. I hit this one. Do I get another flinch? Do not. So, this is actually exactly what we were hoping for. So now I can hit an endeavor, get it down to one HP, and it dies. So let's switch into Corviknight here, knowing that he's going to. That he's going to Earthquake, probably. Hit the Endeavor. Get it down to 1 HP. He does order up here. That's fine. We live that just fine. Now the Sand should be able to take it out. Because it should be a 1 HP. Nice. Now we got to deal with the rest of the team. Let's see how we do that. Incineroar comes out. What could he have in the back? He could have... Urshifu, which would be a problem. I'm gonna I'm gonna tailwind here. And I'll protect. Let's just get a safe turnout. He does icy wind here. The mirror armor should actually help me out. Because I don't lose the speed drop, he does. Don't want bundle out. I don't know if I want it right now. What I can do though is Brave Bird the Tatsugiri and just Rock Slide this turn. If I endeavor, I can kill the Incineroar this turn too. How many turns of Tailwind do, or Sand do I have left? One. This is the last turn of Sand, so no, I don't. Oops. Let me Brave Bird into the Tatsugiri and just Rock Slide here. I could close combat also. 
We'll, we'll, we'll endeavor. He does Terra. I'm assuming he Terra like grasses the Incineroar. Terra ghost. Okay, so I don't endeavor. Give you the Brave Bird off. Let's see how much this does. Picks it up. Corviknight, you monster. <laughs> so I don't get the Endeavor off, unfortunately. I do eat my Citrus Berry. Let's see. Does he Flare Blitz the... He probably Flare Blitzes the Corviknight. He is on minus one. I might live this. Do not. Okay. So sand ends. I do bring T-Tar back out to reset the sand. I am under Tailwind here. Just let me think. Because he could Sucker Punch. He knows, he knows he's in. He could Sucker Punch here. I could low kick him. And then just rock slide. I don't really need the Lycan Rock anymore. I can try to endeavor him. See if I get this right. So I do get the endeavor off. That's great. Low kick. Nice. So now it's just the. Incineroar, he hits the Darkest Lariat. He's at minus one, so that doesn't kill me. Now let's knock off and rock slide. Unless he just forfeits here. Does not forfeit. Ooh, we get the crit. Nice. I should be faster, so this knockoff should just pick it up. Nice. We get a win. I like it. That Endeavor, man. That Endeavor just picked up a dozo. Urshi, Golden Go. Okay. So he's probably going to try to Tailwind Howl, his Excalibur. Uh, leading Sand here is actually not the worst thing ever. Um, this might be a, this might be a, an, an okay team to go just leading the core against. Bundle might be important because it does help against um, Urshifu potentially, against a Tornadus it helps. Garchomp might not be that good because he's got priority Ice moves. Corviknight's actually pretty great. I think I might want to go Corviknight. And do I want Golden Go? My own Golden Go might be okay. Garchomp's not bad. Garchomp's okay because it hits the... Uh, I think I like Golden Go more because he's probably has a Terra Fairy. That's what you've been seeing a lot on the uh, Gouging Fire. I think Golden Go's kind of the move here. So we're going to try it like this. See if we can get a Tailwind up. I think that might be important this game. But Sand is going to be really good against his core, against his uh, Gouging Fire and Backscalibur. Um, I'm predicting a Terra Steel on the Backscalibur, so going for a close combat might be the best move against it. We'll see what we'll see what happens. The Amoongus might be a problem, but we'll see. We'll get past it. If I endeavor it, that would be great. <laughs> But getting Lacking Rock to Endeavor range, mm, that picks up so many things because of the, the sand. Let's see where we're at. Okay. Looks like he's leading rain. 
It being water Urshifu is a little annoying. What I can do here is set up a Terra Blast and uh, switch into Corviknight. That's what I'm tempted to do. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I think that's actually okay. This Terra Blast should pick it up on the uh, Urshifu. So what he's going to do, he's probably going to just Rain Dance Surging Strikes. He might Terra even. But Rain Dance Surging Strikes is what I'm imagining happens here. He might Tailwind also. I'm hoping I live. I can live all the stab moves, but if he U-turns, then that's big brain plays. But I can bring out the Corviknight and try to get my own Tailwind up. He does... Oh, I Terra, right? So if I Terra at first, that means he didn't Terra. Let's see if he big brain play, big brain played and hit for U turn instead of the uh, instead of the surging strikes, or did I get this right and get this pickup? So he does rain dance, get rid of the sand, makes sense. He does surging strikes. I do live this because of the citrus berry. Nice citrus berry activates. We live this. And hopefully Terror Blast picks up this knockout. Oh, it just misses out. Okay. I think I can just go for a rock slide here. Uh, and then switch into Golden Go. Ooh, 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 ooh. This gets a little sketchy because what I'd like to do is exactly that. I can set up my own Tailwind here. Or I can try to set up my own Tailwind. He can't Surging Strikes. If he's Choice Scarf, he's kind of in a weird position. But setting up a Tailwind, tailwind here is going to be great. So let's let's try it. Let's see if we can do it. He does Surging Strikes again. So this Rock Slide that's about to come out should help. Let's see if this Bleak Wind Storm knocks me out. Hopefully not. I am a Salt Vest. And hopefully I don't miss my rock slide here. Let's see. Bleak and Storm. Does about half. Don't miss the rock slide. Don't. Okay, we immediately hit both. Do a lot of damage. That's great. And take out the Urshifu. So I wasn't able to set up my Tailwind, which is unfortunate. Let's bring Golden Go out. Okay. It's actually not the worst. He has not Terra yet. I he is in the rain also, so his fire moves won't do that much damage. Do I want to even stay? No, I think I still switch in Lycan Rock, and I just Thunderbolt the. Uh, or do I Shadow Ball? I can make it rain. Hmm. I could also trick the Gouging Fire. That would be hilarious, actually. What else does he have in the back? Let's go for it. I'm going to trick it. Give it the choice specs. See if I can lock it into a move. It does burning bulwark. Does that does that protect against the trick? We'll see. We'll find out. He tailwinds here, I'm sure. Yep. Oh, it doesn't protect. Nice. So I give it the choice spec. So now it's locked into burning bulwark, which is fantastic for us. Oh, dude, big brain plays. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna rock slide here and just switch into Titar. Get the sand back up. Withdraws the Tornadus. Comes in with. Is it a Moongus? Oh, nice. Okay, this Rock Slide is going to be great. Full power Rock Slide in the sand. It probably won't pick up the knockout, but it'll do a good amount of Lava Bloom. 
Oh, okay. Well, I guess tricking the uh, <laughs> the choice specs won't matter. Does hit the thermal exchange. Hey, Dylan. Thank, thank you for joining, man. We're here trying out. Good, man. I'm doing great. We're trying out Lens Team from Knoxville. I think we're good to just hit another rock slide, though. And then do we switch? He's stuck in Lava Plume, and that didn't do very much. I think we're pretty good here. I'm going to switch into Golden Go again, though. I'm from Arizona, man. I'm from the Southwest. Uh, getting ready for uh, Vancouver Regionals here in about a month. He does hit an Ice Shard. I don't think that KOs. Does not. He does hit another Lava Plume. Let's see how much this uh, this Rock Slide does. Should be able to pick up this Knockout. Almost picks it up on the Gouging Fire. I'll be able to protect this next turn. Does the sand pick it up? The sand picks it up, dude. <laughs> this is why sand's my favorite weather. Not only do you get to play Tyranitar, but you also get to uh, get to play with like cool, just cool synergies, and you pick up knockouts that you don't expect. So now he's got the oh, and he forfeits. So we get another win with this team. That's great, man. Like it's. Very, very creative to get wins with this with this team, man. Big brain plays. Locking it into Lava Bloom, locking it into one move. Just, uh, nice. Got the Fire, Water, Grass Core, the Raging Bolt for some priority. Yeah, this looks good. How do we beat this? Um, Bundle actually looks really good against this guy. Bundle looks great. Do I want to lead with it? I'm not sure. Um, especially with the Raging Bolt there. Bundle, Garchomp, seems like it'd be a good lead here, also. We could also just lead Sand and then lead from there. So like, let's say we lead Sand. We lead Sand, he goes Tornadus. We do the same thing as we did last game, right? We cover for that. Um, and then, I, again, I think Bundle looks fantastic into this matchup. And let's, um, we have to cover for the Rillaboom too, though. Bundle will just get eaten by the Rillaboom and the, I think we go Garchomp. Garchomp Corviknight. Let's go like that. Uh, typical stream schedule is Fridays for sure. Um, and then, so Friday, Wednesday, Sunday is kind of where I'm at. So Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. This is a good track. I have it on random for... <laughs> nice. Okay, so he led Tyranitar, or he led um, Raging Bolt. Tornadus. Let's see. What can we do against this? What's wrong with just rock sliding this turn? I could also knock off the... I can knock that off. I'm a little worried about the Terra. I really want to just double rock slide here. I don't know if there's anything bad against that, really. Because let's say he does Terra. It's usually... Let's see. Let me think. Let's just, let's just go for it. Let's just go for double rock slide here. I don't see a disadvantage. He could calm mine. He could Terra into, he does Terra. So he does get rid of the sand. He did Terra Fairy here. But I don't think he's running anything. He might uh, Electro Web. Wow, well, I did a lot more than I expected. So we do pick it up on the Tornadus. Did about half to the Raging Bolt. He does set up a Calm Mine. That's okay. I'm not that worried about it this game. 
Uh, I might. I do have to bring the T-Tar back out of here, though. Stern is... Okay. Instant. So I want to bring the T-Tar out anyway, so not a huge deal. I think I just protect with the Lycan Rock and bring out the... Bring out the Garchomp or even the Corviknight. Corviknight might be okay. Mm, Garchomp's better here. And then, do we just hit a Rock Slide? I could tear a Ghost here and hit a Rock Slide. Or even a Close Combat. Do I want to be a Ghost type here? What's his other team? Rillaboom. Rillaboom could be a problem. I think I want to save my Terra. Let's lead. Let's go Garchomp. I'm going to actually just double switch here. I'm a little concerned with... Let's Rock Slide. I'll save my Terra. If I get down to, in, down to Endeavor levels, that's not terrible. But he might knock out the, the Lycan Rock. At this point, it's not a huge deal. But we'll see what happens. He does fake out. Oh, wow, we covered for it. Okay. There goes my guard jump. But we do get to bring the sand back out. I think we just double rock slide again. Get rid of the Pearl of Synthesis here. And I think we just double rock slide. He probably does Thunderclap. I guess I could have protected this turn. But getting a rock slide here is pretty important. He does protect. So this double rock slide is going to be really big. Let's see if we get the knockout on the Incineroar. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Okay. That is more than I thought it would. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Okay. We do hit. Does it pick it up? Yeah. The sand will help. The sand will help that. Oh, the citrus. No. <laughs> All right, let's see. Parting shot into the T-Tar. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's see what his last Pokemon is. Is it Rillaboom? It is Fluttermane. Hmm. It might be okay. I think I'm still good to just double rock slide here. I got Corviknight in the back. I really, really, really have to take out this, um, this roaring, um, or raging bolt. I think I still just double rock slide. He's not in a great position. Like he might switch out raging bolt here. It being Flutter is actually kind of a good thing. If it was Rillaboom, I'd be, I'd be a little, uh, hmm. I feel pretty bad here. He does Thunderclap, doesn't pick it up. I do hit a Rock Slide, maybe we'll get a flinch here. That'd be great. That does, man. Okay, we do get a flinch. Nice, 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 nice. Come on, Rock Slide. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, not quite. Almost there. A little bit of Sand Chip. Okay, this turn we are going to protect. We're going to protect and rock slide. We're going to rock slide with a T-Tar. And uh, protect here. He withdraws back into the Incineroar. Going to eat a rock slide. As long as I don't miss, this probably picks it up. I know I am at minus two, but it's still a T-Tar. Does he thunderclap? He does thunderclap. 
Okay, do we pick it up? We do hit both. The sand maybe picks that up. Oh, we got there. Yes, dude. Awesome. How many turns of sand do we have left? That's the real question. We're going to take a break here after this game. So I should still be faster. How many turns of sand do we have left? We have two turns. That's that's all I need. Uh, I'm going to low kick this turn. They're not low kick. Uh, knock off this, this one. I don't need to cover i don't i don't need a miss here is the thing let's pick it up it does and we got there nice nice another win awesome <laughs> this team's so fun man i love sand in every generation it's great lens team is so much fun man i i had such a good time playing it if you're new to the channel by all means subscribe we do upload weekly trying to get that to bi-weekly at the moment leave a like leave a comment let me know what you're feeling about the uh the videos or trying to get better over time I'm trying to get ready for vancouver but in the meantime when i see a cool team i'm gonna try it out so if you want to stick around and see some cool teams by all means like stick around again subscribe and we'll see you next time